it is class creatives. We are starting to go through that process of how to start retiming our animation for an in-game attack type of timing. We're working with the dope sheet. Essentially what we want to do for our timing right now is we have uh, all of our animation happening um, in kind of in this region here and we're not able to move or start our animation at 225 because we have all of these keys in the way. Um, all these black lines are, are basically indicating where our keys are set and that's why everything is kind of walled off because um, you have keys on all the controllers on these areas. And what we want to do is we want to start repositioning some of these big blocks of keys so that we can start this animation at frame 225 and start moving these big blocks of keys around. There are other ways to start moving these um, keys around, um, but for me the dope sheet is one of the easiest ways to sort of retime things. And all you really need to do is to basically kind of select your your area of the keys, it'll turn yellow, and then you can drag the um, cursor with the middle mouse and you'll be able to move the keys to your desired you know, location. And I think all we really need to do is kind of just move these a little bit to, and we might need to retime these again once we start getting our references, uh, you know, looking at our references more closely. But for now, I'm just going to start condensing these um, keys into being that, into making every making space, so we can kind of get this animation started closer to frame 225. And you can see that even here, we're at frame 227. There's not enough space, so I'm just going to continue to keep moving these a little bit, and we might have to retime our our some of our poses and potentially even kind of maybe adjust our reference a little bit so that we can get this, uh, you know, kind of timed exactly where we want it to. Um, and uh, essentially what we also want to do is uh, I want to show you kind of like the order to select things when, you know, you, if you have a big block like this, if you select, you know, from the left to the right, you know, the last one that you, sh that you select, if you shift select these one by one. So what I'm doing is left clicking and then and, uh, selecting these one by one. And then the last one you select will show the number. And that way you can move and drag these to the desired frame. And now you'll be able to see we're starting this on frame 225. And if you remember, we move these keys around quite a bit. Um, so you might wanna just, uh, we, we may wanna like kind of reposition some of these things and uh, kind of restore kind of where these keys were a little bit before. Uh, but we'll definitely be wanting to be checking our references um, once we start positioning these in the final air, final timeline. So just to kind of touch base on again what we were covering there um, is just if we're looking at our game uh, camera footage here, we can see that if I bring if I kind of show you exactly where our new timing is, we have the basically default starting position. And then uh, we have the main anticipation pose at 224, and we might even exaggerate it more to kind of look more like the reference up here. Uh, but now we've kind of condensed, instead of starting at frame 200, we're starting 25 frames later. Now that little motion that we were talking about before is happening a lot sooner. I wanted to take a brief pause to talk about today's sponsor, Class Creatives. They offer a top-ranked game design curriculum online. You'll have access to instructors with over 25 years of professional industry experience and nearly a decade of accredited university-level instruction. All courses are taught by industry veterans with experience from studios such as Disney, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Blur, Sony, Ubisoft, Sucker Punch, Guerrilla Games, Google, and more. Learn professional workflows such as 3D character modeling, utilizing industry standard software such as ZBrush, Autodesk Maya, and Substance Painter. The entire character design workflow is covered from start to finish in their masterclass offerings. Character animation fundamentals teach the importance of video reference to bring characters to life utilizing Autodesk Maya and Unreal Engine. Extensive character rigging courses teach the process of how to custom rig characters for all of your project needs. Trending apps such as Forger iOS is perfect for 3D sculpting on the go to lead to more efficient sculpts in your ZBrush work. Dive into environment concept art utilizing Photoshop, Blender, and SketchUp to bring your design ideas to life. Today's workflows for 3D character modeling can involve many complex processes. Learn how to utilize Substance Painter, ZBrush, Marmoset, and Maya to bring your PBR character sculpts to the next level. The learning doesn't stop there. With offerings about sound design and music composition from award-winning composers, you'll be able to grasp all aspects of the process. 
As technology advances, so does the needs of engineering, and we have courses for that too. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. And we're getting into our anticipation pose here, and then we're uh, striking through and hitting our follow through roughly around the same time as our game reference. And the main thing that we wanted to do was to cut down on the time to hit our reference, uh, our, our basically our anticipation pose, and basically kind of start tightening up this uh, swing. And we haven't really retimed any of our animation inside of here. We moved frames around just to kind of, you know, just to kind of uh, reposition uh, this animation so that it can start at 225. And now our animation, the way that the anticipation is starting is much faster. We're getting into, you know, our anticipation pose uh, in 10 frames versus, you know, taking 25 plus another 10 frames before that. So it was taking 25 to 30 frames to get to this pose before, whereas now it's uh, taking 10 frames instead of 25 to 35 frames, 25 to 30 frames. And then we're gonna be tightening this up as well. And we're gonna start matching up our timing to kind of look more like this reference. Our follow through um, pose will be roughly the same. So we'll still be able to use a lot of the reference that we have for the live action, um, but we'll be tightening up basically this section from here to here with using some of our in-game reference for timing. So that's kind of a quick rundown on how to use the dope sheet roughly. Um, you could move things around in the timeline here, but like I said, if you were to move, you know, frame 245 to 246, it's very easy to get locked in on a half frame, and then you'll have to right click and snap to frames. And if you forget to do that, you'll have keys on the half frame. You can't really get half frames on the dope sheet, so that's why I like to work in the dope sheet to really move large blocks of keys to basically make things. Uh, a lot tighter and uh, more snappier if you want to retime a large section like this. We're talking about what was essentially uh, 40 to 45 uh, frames of animation on the entire body um, by us being able to condense that to essentially you know half that time um, and shifting everything and moving it. it's just a lot visually a lot easy to see easier to see and I don't have to worry about snapping my keys or having anything on any um, uneven frames everything is is um, on whole frames right now and it's relatively clean there are a few areas in the, in here that um, look like we need to kind of separate out so that we can start condensing and tightening up this area so the next thing we'll be doing is trying to take a look at this area and um, this follow through let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect.